Hey guys, it's Andy here, and as you can tell by all these boxes, I'm kind of in the middle of moving places. I've literally just got back from filming something down in London, um, so as you can imagine, um, it's kind of hectic, kind of busy, that kind of thing. However, I've still got time to squeeze in this nice how-to video. So basically, I'm going to show you how to make this cool miniature baluster catapult. Now, I know it's not an exact copy of an original baluster from back in the day, as I doubt they had elastic bands back then. So basically, it's a kind of hybrid of a baluster and a crossbow. So yeah, let's do it. So to begin with, I found this pen with a relatively thick tube. I then took it apart and sawed off the end, leaving that thick tube. I then began to saw down the tube in half, lengthways. I made sure there was a few centimetres left over at the bottom of the tube before chopping off the plastic like so. I then did some filing to neaten it up. This part will be the barrel launcher for the catapult. I also drilled a small hole horizontally through the end, like so. After that, I found this small block of wood which was 2 inches long. I then measured out two places for the holes around 5mm from each side. I used a small drill piece which would allow these nails to fit through nicely. There we go. Now the barrel launcher needs to fit directly down the centre in between the two holes. I decided to use files to create a small groove deep enough to fit the barrel. Just like that. The next thing I did was find two lolly sticks and chop off four ends to about two and a half centimetres long. I then used a rotary tool to create three small holes that the nails would just about fit through. As you can see, the hole directly in the centre is slightly lower down than the other two. I used the first piece as a guide to create the holes in the other four pieces. There we go. I then used six nails to slot the lolly sticks over the block of wood like so. I then took apart a peg and glued it together like this. This will create a slanted stand for the catapult. I then glued on the block of wood with the lower nails pointing towards the peg. There we go. After that, I used another piece from a peg and glued it directly under the groove. This will help create a guide for the barrel. I then simply glued the barrel into place. Then it was time to add the rubber band. I chopped off a piece and then slotted a pony bead over the band. This bead will launch the projectiles. As you can see, this rolls down the barrel quite nicely. I then tied the band to the outer nails. This locks the pony bead into the barrel. I then used a paper clip to make a simple trigger device and slotted it through the hole at the end of the barrel. The paper clip should be able to bend around the bead to keep it in place. And now we're ready to roll. 
I pushed back the bead and secured in place with the trigger, found my projectile of choice, and bombs away. Nice. Now, I've still got loads of these fun snaps left, so I might as well fire off a few of these too. Oh yeah. And that's the miniature baluster catapult. So there we have it. How to make a miniature baluster catapult. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel. Also, I'm on social media, so I'll leave the links down below for that. And other than that, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I've um, when I've moved.